Okay, today I'm going to be answering the question that I've been asked several times in the comment section and that I also asked my physics professor in college. And it goes like this, the Earth is orbiting the Sun due to gravity, but what would happen to the Earth if suddenly the Sun disappeared? Would it instantly feel the effect of the lost Sun or would it take some time for it to feel the effect? And after it has felt the effect, what would happen? Would it fly off into space? Would it keep going around in a circle? What would happen from there? So let me explain to you what would happen in this scenario and then I'll also be able to show you by using some cool software that I have that uses real physics equations to calculate the movement of celestial bodies. Okay, so before we see what would happen to the Earth if the Sun suddenly disappeared, let's talk about how fast the Earth would know if the Sun disappeared. Well, if the Sun were to suddenly disappear, we know that in order to see that effect, it would take about eight minutes. That's how long light takes to travel from the sun to the earth. But in this case, we're not talking about light, we're talking about gravity. Would we be able to feel the effect of gravity instantaneously, or would it also take some time to reach us on earth? And depending on who you've asked this question to, you may have gotten different answers. And I'm gonna try to clear up some of that confusion here. So according to Newton's law of gravity, he said that gravity propagates instantaneously. And the reason he said that is because the Earth rotates around the Sun, pointing to not where the Sun used to be eight minutes ago, but it points to where the Sun is right now. So he found that there's not some travel delay from the Sun to the Earth as they move through space. If there were a travel delay, and it was taking some time for the Earth to feel the effect of the Sun, then that would mean that the Earth was pointing at a different center of gravity, and it would cause the orbits to become unstable, and it wouldn't represent what the solar system is doing currently. So that's why Newton said that gravity travels instantaneously. But then Einstein came along with his theory of general relativity, and he showed that gravity actually propagates at the speed of light. But it would seem that both of these can't be true, You'd expect that because the speed of gravity takes about eight minutes to get to the Earth, you'd expect that instead of the Earth being attracted directly towards the center of the Sun, it would be lagged behind a little bit, pointing to where the Sun used to be eight minutes ago. But what happens is this change in direction of force would cause a total change in angular momentum of the system. And since angular momentum is always conserved, that would mean that there's some change in gravity radiating away from the system. But in general relativity, a mass moving at a constant velocity doesn't radiate. And what you find if you work through the general theory of relativity is that this effect is exactly cancelled by the movement of the Sun and the Earth. So that it seems like even though they're moving through space, the Earth is still attracted to the instantaneous center of the Sun. So basically what I'm saying is that the theory of general relativity shows that even though gravity doesn't propagate instantaneously, for two bodies moving at a constant velocity, it appears that it's instantaneous. So what's true for gravity would also be true for two charged objects moving through space. So let's say this was a negative charge and this was a positive charge. If they're moving through space, the positive charge wouldn't be attracted to where the negative charge was a moment ago in time, but it would be attracted to the instantaneously center of the negative mass at this point. So for objects moving at constant velocity through space, it appears as though the fields are instantaneous, but in reality, they're not. And because this effect is not exactly instantaneous, if you were to suddenly remove the sun from the system, then it would take eight minutes for the Earth to even know it was gone. So the answer is if the sun were to suddenly disappear, the effect of it reaching the Earth would travel at the speed of light and it would take around eight minutes to reach Earth. Exactly the same amount of time that it would take for the last bit of sunlight from the sun to reach the Earth. Here's a simulation for how long it takes the light from the sun to reach the Earth. Even sped up, it takes a long time. So now that we know if the sun were suddenly plucked out of existence in the solar system, it would take around eight minutes to reach the Earth. What then would happen to the Earth at that point? Well, because the sun is what keeps the Earth in orbit, the Earth is always being pulled towards the sun as it moves around it. So for example, pretend that my hand is the sun and this lead ball is the Earth and this string is gravity. So the only reason that the ball keeps going around the sun is due to gravity. But if gravity were to suddenly go away due to the sun disappearing, that means the Earth would just fly into space. 
So here is the real simulation what would happen if the sun suddenly disappeared. And here's what would happen to the entire solar system, all the planets. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did like it and you haven't hit the subscribe button, consider hitting it so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And let me know any questions or comments that you have in the comment section and I'll try to get to them. And thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time.